Hi, this is Amy from the Alti store. So do you ever wonder what happens if you've got a charge controller that is only big enough for the solar panels you've got, maybe one panel and a small charge controller, or you've got a whole array that's maxed out and you want to add more solar panels. Well, all you need to do is wire a second charge controller in parallel in your DC load center. So I've got each output of the charge controller going into my, my DC breaker box or load panel. And if I turn on just one of my charge controllers, I see that I'm getting 3.04 amps in. All right, I'm gonna turn that off and I'm turning on my second one and it's a different charge controller. So uh, the output is just slightly different. It's 2.78. So if I turn both of them on, what's happening is each charge controller is managing independently and it's going to be sending its own current into the battery. So when I turn them both on, I'm getting the sum of the two. I'm getting nine, uh, 5.92 amps because when you wire in parallel, amps increase and the volts stay the same. So I've got my two outputs of my two charge controllers going to the battery, independently managing each battery and working together. Now there are some charge controllers that will actually even allow you to connect the two charge controllers together and get even more advanced communication between them. But as you can see, I'm not doing that here and they're still working together great. So I'm just, I'm doubling my current by having both charge controllers on and going in parallel to the battery. I hope this was help, so helpful. If so, give us a like and a share and be sure to subscribe to our Alti Store channel so we can notify you when we've got more videos coming out. And don't forget to go to our website at altistore.com where we've been making renewable doables since 1999.